Hi, my name is Mark Spade. I'm the president of the College Band Directors National Association and director of bands at Clemson University. And I'm James Weaver, the director of performing arts and sports for the National Federation of State High School Associations. And together we are co-chairs of the Performing Arts Aerosol Study at the University of Colorado Boulder and the University of Maryland. This short video will describe the protocols developed in the study to mitigate transmission of the coronavirus during indoor music rehearsals. While there is no such thing as zero risk in any human activity, these protocols will reduce the chance of virus transmission between musicians. So far with millions of students who have already been rehearsing in school music programs, there have been no known cases of spread within music activities when all of the mitigations are employed. And we do want to stress that these mitigations must all be used. These recommendations are not a menu of choices from which to pick. For a full accounting of the science behind the study, please visit the website uh, linked below. Okay, let's get to it. First of all, you must mask the person and mask the instrument. Masking the instrument involves bell covers made from surgical mask material or double layered fabric with a MERV 13 filter between layers. The surgical mask material works well on woodwind instruments with small bells. These bell covers catch up to 98% of aerosols coming from the bells. For the musician, use surgical masks with a slit or mask design to accommodate a mouthpiece. Although it may seem counterintuitive to have a mask with a hole in it, these masks are designed to catch any aerosol which could contain the virus if that person is unknowingly infected. This allows it to be caught from escaping from the nose and large droplets emitted from around the mouthpiece. Musicians must get used to not speaking unless they use a normal, well-fitted mask. They can switch back and forth when not playing. Aerosol production is increased when speaking. Next, we are still following the United States Center for Disease Control guidance for six-foot social distancing for high exhalation activities, which includes singing and woodwind instrument playing. At this time, we continue to recommend a 30-minute rehearsal period when indoors and a 60-minute period outdoors. This is designed to limit the amount of aerosol that can accumulate. After 30 minutes indoors, the room should be cleared for a minimum of one air change before resuming rehearsal again. The use of a standalone HEPA air cleaner can enhance the air change rate. When possible, rehearsals should be held outdoors, but doors can be open or windows cracked to increase ventilation in the indoor rehearsal space. Standard air change rates in modern buildings is around three per hour, which is a suggested minimum. It would be better if the facility's personnel can increase the HVAC system air change rate and try to get the maximum amount of outside air from the HVAC system. Some HVAC systems can and should use HEPA filters when possible. And finally, continue to use good hygiene with frequent hand washing, disinfecting wipes, etc. Instruments and mouthpieces should not be shared unless the instrument is disinfected. The practice of emptying brass spit valves onto the floor must be amended. You can have players use puppy pads or provide community buckets of alcohol on the bottom to kill potential germs. To summarize the five principles, one, mask the student, mask the instrument, Two, keep the six-foot CDC guidance for high exhalation activities such as singing or playing a wind instrument until the pandemic is officially over. Three, limit rehearsals to 30 minutes indoors and 60 minutes outdoors, then clear the room for at least one air change. Four, outdoors is best, but indoors increase air change rates through the HVAC system or standalone HEPA air filters. And last, hygiene is still important. We hope this video will assist you in returning to the rehearsal classroom or as a reminder for those who are already back. Thank you all for doing your part to keep music rehearsals as low risk as possible. And thank you all for keeping music alive in whatever way you were able to during the pandemic. Best wishes, everyone. If you have any questions, you can reach Mark or myself at the emails listed below.